One of the biggest areas of Reverberate 3 is modulation. Modulation isn't normally an option for convolution reverbs, but I can count at least eight places where you can introduce modulation into reverbs in Reverberate 3. We'll have a look at a few of those in this video, but first off, what am I talking about with modulation? Modulation is changing something over time, usually but not always in a cyclic backwards and forwards way. Um, it, you might wonder why that's important for something like a reverb. I mean, if you make a, a sound in a space and that sound bounces back off the walls, those walls don't move backwards and forwards. So why would you want your reverb to sound like that was happening? The reason for that's largely historical. It's to do with people trying to eke extra performance out of limited hardware in the early days of uh, digital reverbs. And the sound was good, and it's something we associate with the sound of good reverb, so it's desirable to keep it today. So what does it sound like? Well, rather than show you in Reverberate 3, I'm going to show you in something else. This isn't strictly fair, but let's do it anyway. I'm going to show you in Dverb, which is the now extremely old stock reverb that ships with Pro Tools. Now, this does modulation, but it does modulation in a really obvious and, and not altogether brilliant way. So we're going to listen to the piano a lot for this, uh, for this demonstration because these kind of artefacts, are, they're really easy to hear on something like a piano. So... Just have a listen when I stop this, listen to the reverb tile and listen to the pitch. Did you hear how that pulled flat? I'll wind it up a little bit and we'll try again. That time it went sharp. Not great. I mean, it matters less with unpitched instruments. So if you use that on drums, I think it'd be all right. But uh, on something like a piano, you can really hear it pulling the pitch. Anyway, we'll go back to Reverberate 3. And in Reverberate 3, there are at least eight places. Let's look at four. Um, the first one I want to look at, this is what you'll get as your main modulation option if you're using uh, true stereo or mono to stereo topology impulse responses. In this case, I'm using True Stereo, and uh, it's split mod. It's right there in the reverberation tab. Now, we've got two places in which we can uh, modulate either side of a split point that you can define yourself using this split point control. It's this line here in the waveform, and if I change that, you can move it. So you can modulate the early reflections or the early portion or the late independently, either or or both. So if I pull this on. We've got no modulation at all at the moment. This is what we've got. I'll start off with the early. Now we've got two types here. You'll see this has got a little clock and it's also got a little note. That's pitch based and that's time based. This is kind of harder to hear. So I'm going to leave this crank right up and I'll just introduce it while it's playing. See if you can hear it. Apart from that rather obvious little glitch where it came in, you're not supposed to change it while it's passing audio. I um, don't know if you could hear that. This one's a bit more obvious, especially because I've got it switched into pitch-based modulation. And can you hear that pull on the pitch? I'll wind it up, get really obvious. And it's starting to sound a little bit honky-tonk. I'll pull the, the rate up and you'll absolutely hear it now. So yeah, if you can't hear that, then uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, with more moderate settings, it can introduce a nice movement into the, uh, into the reverb. And with that individual control, separate independent control over the earlies, it can sound very nice indeed. Where else can you introduce some modulation? Well, let's turn these off so that we're not confusing the modulation we're listening to. Three other places you can introduce it is in the effects section. So first off, chorus, that's modulation. It's a chorus. Not a great deal to say about that. Wind up the modulation, it'll change that delay time. You can also modulate delay. Now we've got a stereo delay here, you can cross-feed them into each other and all sorts of things. But you can also modulate them so that they're in a similar way to a chorus, but uh, um, not exactly the same. You can modulate those delay times. Pull the rate up and get things really obvious. It's 
definitely modulation there. Anyway, let's move that. Um, and the last one is easy to miss. So here in the master section, we've got what looks like a conventional equaliser. But if you have a look out of this uh, overview view of bands one to five to one of the individual ones, you'll see that you've got a modulation option. So you can modulate, for example, this peak here around that centre frequency using this modulation amount and this LFO for speed. Okay. So the other place you'll find some EQ-based modulation is in the reverb engine EQ settings themselves. Now, here we've got this overview view that uh, doesn't suggest there's any modulation available, but there is. If you click in any one of these detail views of the bands, you'll see you have modulation available. Now, this isn't cyclic like every other kind of modulation we've looked at so far. It starts somewhere and it ends somewhere else. So, for example, here I've got a high-pass filter selected for band one. Its initial frequency is right down here. Its final frequency is up, up near 5K. And uh, if I want to modulate that, then what I can do is uh, I can have a look at how that's happening. Here we've got the uh, end time, so I can say when during the tail it starts and when it ends. And it'll sound like this. And you can hear that thins out. And you can even view the progress of the filter by time. So here we are at time zero, and as the tail decreases, that filter cutoff frequency rises. So anyway, there we go. That is four places in which you can introduce modulation. There are four more. So uh, in the next video, I'll look at those, and you can see exactly how comprehensive the modulation options are in Reverberate 3.